boxing in the junior middleweight division. 22 victories, two defeats, with eight knockouts, of 66 victories, four defeats, one draw. Give him a good fight, fellas. He is the former WBC Super Featherweight. It's 543 rounds. And he has got lost to Chavez. Mentally, he has to get through this first. Chavez and Felix Trinidad. Skedison. I can't let Camacho's antics distract me at all. When you take a look at the knockout ratio for these two boxers. Big ready, biggest headset, game kicks. No real pop in his heart. De La Hoya was trying to knock him out. He did floor him. He did the legs to do that no more. He stays in front of you a little bit more. Hasn't really accomplished much. When I was his age, I was a worldly relation. Of course, you have so much emotion. I knocked my guy out. <laughs> you never know. Good round one for Camacho. In the first, as you mentioned, forced Hector to fight a different style. It does, and that is a little metamorphosis. He's changed. He's a different right, kind right, of fighter. Right, right. That's why. will always be macho time in my life. There's never a dull moment. Right, right, right. Champions over the last few years have not won. When he sits out. And after he won the title against Ray Mancini with the Vinny Pazienza. Some people came because they hated him. See him lose. Right, 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 Some come because they right, right. You have to give Kamaju credit for one thing. His trainer Pat Burns has brought... His trainer Pat Burns said they're trying to get Kamaju away with pressure of Macho Man. Luxie, <laughs> Mississippi at 8 p.m. Eastern, the IBF Cruiserweight Champion. I'll tell you now, Sigurani's chin holds up. It's going to be an inch. And Sigurani said, listen, I know Kamaju's not... Kamaju to keep a lead. Away. A lot of his followers right, right, may come right back. He has to be wary of your offense. Punches. And if he doesn't get caught. And he's seven and two six. Camacho gives him. This could be interesting. There's only two losses with him. And Sigurani. Right in front of him, come straight in. Come in on angles because the guy can get lucky once in a while. Basically, you can't assume anything in the ring or anywhere, especially. A noticeable amount fewer. 24. Lucky. There's Pat Burns, former police officer in Miami. Took over the camp of Camacho right before the Ray Leonard thought the Atlas block, isn't he? No walk. The ship is what you end up with. If he didn't take that. Camacho stuck straight back a couple times. You know, I mentioned about Camacho reinvent the age of 36 if he was to lose to a Sigurani. This figure, and with a high profile guy, he probably fight. Threat anyway. It's all a matter of what happens here. And schedule 10 round junior middleweight bout. Okay, four. Round two, a close round. And he anticipated better. Now, it's a little different into the eye it could be a problem and that's why you could make lose that a headbutt or a punch because it's a fight Virginia now that we're past round three they would go well and that cut is along the hairline left side of it also a lot of swelling up to the right eye they're going to have to really work in that corner I'm saying you know he's not hurting or anything he's doing a good job in there to that right eye because if it keeps getting worse and the fight keeps eight knockouts past the sixth round and people would use his legs for 10 rounds. So even if we were with the way he has pursued it. Hector Camacho over the last several rounds, Bob Hoffman, if this bout is stopped because of that. Bigger gloves, not the eight ounce that he used it out. As I mentioned earlier, then you could think of it another way. A guy with bigger gloves could take a punishment. Hey, we're well, not seeing a very effective jab from Camacho. And again, another close round. Round number five, the same as round one. Stuff. Just working, just slow punches. And his chin is held up. The Sigurani is coming right in. I think that he deserved the last round. He's caught Camacho clean. 
Camacho just about. Obviously, a young Camacho would not be his lead. So that he gets up to these to the round. Ah! And we begin round number seven. And this got in August, a 12-round decision against Tony Menefee. Round to Camacho. He stepped it up a little bit. He was a looking for the counter here. The only problem is when you look for the favor, not tonight because he's flicking it out, he's not snapping it out. And he has it in a way like a bull. Game in his kitchen. That's the way he wants it. Just finding a way to make the pace a little bit. Have to take that chance. That's right. Only because Hector is not a huge puncher. Probably just on the chest. Pat Burns, his trainer, Teddy, said, listen, just keep giving Sigurant. There are the punch numbers through seven. The soft experience and the knowledge of being able to do 30 more jabs and threw off all the time. Hey, you know, he's a boxer, he's a guy that had talent. You know what? He took a beating with Chavez, took a beating with Bilo Hoya. to do that. You have to give a devil, the devil his career where he went from great to very good. Might be in a win. He's going to be a great fighter. That was the turning point in his career. Madison Square Garden changed his mindset. One thing he did, big puncher, hurt Camacho. Camacho didn't deserve You're Tasting that left hand from Rosario. Destroyed. And to be real offensively effective. And what he wants. Hector holding is the bell. Tolls to yeah, he is. He's experienced. And I think Sigurani's making a big mistake. Chavez in my step up. I'm stepping up again, again. It is someone who's past his prime. And on, right now, he's struggling. <laughs> Stay away from the punches. For the hill, Camacho. Not near the shadow of what Camacho used to be. Two points. And, you know, maybe why continue. Nothing away from that. Probably falls into that category. Found Jesus Christ in 1994. I and my opponent do not get hurt. Come on, Jensen. At time to fight his pace. Completely committing himself. As we get set for the start of the 10th and final round, you got to go out and win this round. Jab and left hand is the round of the fight. The last thing down. The eye, different story. I think he stayed outside and he hesitated too much. He should have committed himself. Camacho's jab is Figueroa is doing the right thing. He's south point of fight. He doesn't give you a real angle. He's more square. And that's exactly what Figueroa did a few times. Camacho is throwing. Sometimes you two see two fighters that are over the hill. Good fight. Judge Stephen Allred scores about 97. Hector Macho. Camacho. Camacho.